is up guys, it is Dimension Productions here, and um, I'm going to be explaining why I'm having some issues with my computer. As you guys can see on video, it is currently booting up. Um, so I'm going to actually be publishing this video after I'm done with it. Um, so, and yes guys, this is like explaining why I'm you know, having issues with not uploading videos on my computer. And so, uh, so if you guys remember yesterday morning at uh, midnight through 4 o'clock-ish, my computer was not even working. It just kept freezing. It just kept not cooperating with me. So, so as you guys may see in a few minutes here, as you guys can see, my computer is very, very slow because it's just all right. Well, the password in. Uh, speaking of that, guys, um, I'm making this at um 11:18, so this is gonna be kind of a late video um I didn't want to make this video this late and I didn't want to make a video today I, I just wanted to show you guys why I've been not been not uploading any videos okay guys so as you guys can see I'll show you guys why I'm having issues here in a minute but so, as you guys may realize, I have not been uploading on this computer much, and the reason is because I've been having so many goddamn issues. Um, so, many apologies for that, people. I just had so many issues with, um, a lot of, um, computer-related issues. So... If you guys didn't know that's actually my real name that's on the screen right now. Okay guys, so a lot of people have been asking me about Windows 10 LTSC. So if you guys don't know what LTSC stands for, it actually used to be called Long Term Service Advantage and LTSC kind of follows the same terms. LTSC is basically intended for special um, machines like RTM, HMRI machines, ATM to check out. Better machines, air traffic controller, and etc. So, okay, guys, so I went on the website the other day and I saw that Windows 10 actually does not have an EOL. And I know that people are saying it's 2025, but actually, they, the Microsoft did not implement the EOL on Windows 10. So, it's honestly going to be implemented, meaning that it's going to be not committed to have 10 years of support with the exception of semi-annual and you guys can see i have the windows 7 logo down there because i'm using classic uh, open shell and uh yeah as you can see i have so many programs here all right You guys can definitely tell my computer is so slow here, and, um, yeah, I'm really sorry, guys, about this, but I've been having so many issues with my computer recently, and, um, I just wish I would reset the damn thing here, so, I'm sorry. Yeah, guys, you guys can see I'm recording this on the 23rd. Um... So yeah, I guess I know I actually downloaded a lot of software earlier today, and um, yeah guys, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about here because my computer has barely any room for anything right now. Um, so, yeah, um,
As you guys can see, I have so many stuff on the bottom here. But Windows 8.1 will still have support until 2023. Windows 10 actually does, as far as I know, there is no official end of life. The, uh, the official, because of the, like with the exception of the semi-annual updates, which are supported for 18 months. The only versions that will have 10 years of support are the LTSC versions, which have 10 years of support. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, that's it for this video. I don't want to spend this video too long. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.